Welcome to the first installment of Evaluating Websites for Academic Papers. I am your host, Craig Fitzgerald, and today we will be discussing Wikipedia. As you most likely know, most Google searches inevitably pull up Wikipedia as the first or second link. A search for Jane Eyre, the test subject we will be using is no different. As the first link, Wikipedia is a tempting target for any would-be writer, but is it a good choice? Let's find out. A first impression of the Jane Eyre Wikipedia article is that the interface is clean. There are no ads unless you count the logo for Wikipedia itself. Wikipedia resides at a .org domain and it is a non-profit. However, it does derive its funding from donations, some of which might come from people or entities with articles on Wikipedia. It may be something to keep in mind for controversial or modern subjects. However, with Jane Eyre, we should be safe from Charlotte Bronte's influence. One of the most important things to consider when deciding if an article is usable as a source in an academic paper is the author. Much of an article's credibility comes from the author. On Wikipedia, this can be difficult to exactly figure out. You can see the authors by clicking on the History tab at the top of any Wikipedia article. This allows you to see who made what changes over the life of the article. However, the authors are almost always anonymous. You can also click on the Discussion tab to see more information about how the current article came about. The various authors will discuss issues with the article and how to solve them or how they were solved. This can give insight into the seriousness with which the authors took the subject. Another important issue when discussing a source for an academic paper is how did the author document their article and is the information verifiable. This may actually be Wikipedia's saving feature. Many of the authors list their references they use and even when those references were pulled. There are usually also external links, so you may want to consider skipping Wikipedia as a source and jumping straight to the original source. In the end, whether or not Wikipedia is a good source depends on your instructor. Some instructors will allow it, others will not. The best you can do is ask. Even if they say no, you can still use Wikipedia to find other sources. The reference list is often your best friend in an academic paper. Thank you for viewing this installment of Evaluating Websites. I hope to see you again real soon.